Hey everybody, welcome to What The Tech. This is a bonus version of What The Tech. Uh, if you are listening to this, hey guys, uh, we're releasing a almost like a secondary show as a companion to last uh, la the last episode because we kind of ran out of time. We want to keep the show at an hour. And I wanted to do something really cool this week. And we were going to do this on the bonus show on What The Talk. And mm -hmm. uh, this will this is What The Talk, but I'm going to also put this on the RSS because I thought this was really important, and I think this is a fun discussion to have. And it's Paul's new PC build. Uh, Paul's been talking about doing a PC. Hey, Paul, by the way. <laughs> hey. I, I'm all, I'm all whacked out. Uh, hey, I'm Andrew Zarin. I'm joined by Paul. All right, how you doing, Paul? Pretty good. There you how go. Are you? That's how we do it. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all whacked out here. Because uh, yeah. we, yeah. we're resetting this. We're doing it again. Mm -hmm. um, so we were going to release this on What to Talk. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to put this on, on, the, on the Patreon like I do. But I wanted to make this available for everybody because this is a cool... Uh, this is... If you if you build PCs, if you've done a, if you've done a PC build uh, in the last 10 years, you know that there's 5,000 different answers to every one of your questions, Right. You go to mm. do you go with AMD? Do you go with Intel? Do you go to NVIDIA? Which motherboard? Which which type of motherboard? Which chipset? It gets so yeah. complicated. And uh, I think was it Sunday or or Monday that we spoke? I think it was yesterday. Last no. week? No, no. When did you place this order? Oh, uh, Friday. It was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. I called you, and. Mm. Uh, I forgot. I forgot what I asked you, but we went down the list. I think what you said was you've been dicking around about this for too long. Let's let's figure out what let's you figure get. out what you're doing. And I kind of held I your am, hand. I held I am your a hand. Procrastinator. You did. And we went through the process, <sighs> and we built. Actually, it is the exact build that I have uh, for my production mm -hmm. machine here in the studio. I have two of these actually, and uh, this is the build that Paul wanted to do. And so, a couple corners before we go down the list. Why did yep. you want to build a brand new machine? Um, well, I mean, there's a few reasons. I mean, uh, this one I'm actually going to give to my son. I've been uh, talking to him about building a gaming PC rig, you know, that he, he's going away to college now. So, I mean, he could take it with him, I guess, and use it as a computer. But he plays games on the PC a lot. And I just haven't done something like this in a while. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting to... Do And I also, you know, I've been using that NUC thing, and that was kind of like a Fisher-Price version of building a computer, right? It's just a little kit. You throw in some RAM and some storage. It's not yeah. that difficult. Um, but honestly, if things go properly, it shouldn't be too much more difficult to build <laughs> a bigger computer. It's just that there'd be more stuff, Okay, right? so you when's know, the last time you did a build? <laughs> it's been a long time. I mean, I, I think the last one I built could have had like a 386 DX no. 40 AMD processor. It's been a long time. You wow, know? that is a long time. I think. Well, okay. Let me let me make sure that's correct. I, you got to remember, like, or not remember. You should know. I mean, over the years, I've done things that are you know everything other than putting the motherboard in the case. Like, I, I've bought a lot of stripped down server type machines from like Dell, especially. Yeah. And it's a processor. And a motherboard in a case that are together in a power supply. And then you add RAM and storage and whatever. And, you know, I've done all that. You know, I've replaced RAM many, many times. I've replaced optical drives many, many times. I've, you know, I've I've done yeah. this kind of stuff, you know. Um, but building like a full blown PC from scratch, I mean, economically, I actually don't think it makes a lot it's of sense. It's been a while. Um, but it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do with this? Are you going to use it for gaming? What, what do you what do you plan? It's for gaming. This, this is for this gaming. Is for gaming. This, so here, here's the way I approach this. So I think this one in particular, uh, this one's for my son. He's going to use it for gaming. I'm going to later build a simpler version of this that is uh, that day to day I probably won't use for gaming, but I do want that one to be you know VR capable. Okay. Right? This thing is 1080p. You know, gaming just. Straightforward okay. gaming. Okay, so uh, let's go down the list here. Um, yeah. You had a couple things. One was you did not want a traditional hard drive at all. Right? Yeah, so, well, that's for me. Yeah, for me, I don't. I Honestly, I think the one, this one for my son, I have enough hard drives. I'll probably stick like a two terabyte additional drive in it for him because yeah. he'll need it for, you know, just to store the games. But yes, I mean, the one that I will build for myself later... Um, will not have a well see i'm saying that but actually the truth is <laughs> maybe it will i don't know um I, i'd like to start with no yeah with okay. no hard drive just okay. just 
yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm no, no problem. dithering all over the place. No, don't worry. So let's start off with the case that you got. Uh, so, by the way, look yeah. behind my shoulder. Okay. Yes, is that it? Yeah. So my only issue mm-hmm. <laughs> with that thing is that it's humongous. Yes. This is actually um, one of the smaller cases that I've had. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I like the... I like the way that it does airflow. And yeah. I think that's the kind of the point of this thing. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Let me see if I could. I could show it you. is a big, big boy. Andrew has left us. I've left. It's funny. You can actually... Um, Switch the orientation of this machine so that it's on its side if you want to do that, which is because right. it has a glass right. side. All right, where you can see so, into it. So I'm back. All right, mm-hmm. uh, here's the case. If I could. Is it too dark? It might be too. Dark. It's a monolith. It looks like a next cube from yeah. like 1996. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's gigantic. And yeah. I kind of like it because I could, you know, I have a lot of components in this thing and I kind of wanted, I also wanted a case that was quiet. Yeah. And that was that's, my biggest that's, concern that, yeah. because the cheaper you go with these cases, the louder they get. And the fans that it comes with, it, it's mm. really good for airflow. It, it, it's it's a very, very good case. But it, it is a big, big, big old school style case. I mean, the shape is cool because it's a giant box. Uh, yeah. My other case. It's going to be good for me. This. I have huge hands. I have huge so hands when, I have so to get in, when I have to get into this yeah. thing, that's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, so this is a gigantic case, and we went with this one. Uh, yep. The power supply, obviously modular power supply. And with an EVG. So by the way, yes. um, let me see if this is the one thing that I changed. Yeah. So I, I bought all this stuff. I got all of it on Sunday, except for one thing, the case. So the, the case arrived today, but on, I think it might have been Monday even. It was Sunday. It doesn't really matter when, but... I got, you know, I got, so I got a lot of emails about this. And of course I got a lot of comments about it. Most of whom were, you know, from people who are just like, you're an idiot, you know, you're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. This casts questions about your expertise and everything. Cause you clearly have no idea because what you're of, talking of, of about. Of what purchase? Of all of it. Of every, everything. Everything. <laughs> there were complaints about everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got an email from a guy that was actually very helpful and he had a couple of interesting ideas. And one of the things he suggested was we got this, um, let me see. We got this power supply. It's mm-hmm. like a la, 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 EVG, EVGA, yeah, Supernova, Supernova 850B2, yeah. blah, 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 whatever it is. 850 watt, you know, whatever, modular power yeah. supply, $80. So he said that they had a higher end version of it, which is like a G series. That's possible, yeah. It's exactly the same thing. Cost about $20 more. But he said that it was like quieter and, you know, whatever. And I kind of, I looked it up and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to get that. Okay. And so I did order that. And it came today as well. Okay. So I think I'm going to return the other one. But yeah, it's I mean, basically it's just the higher end version of the same. There's so many of them. Um, and oh, I kind of yeah, yeah, tried to stay in your budget that you had given yeah. me. No, no, no. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I, it's I, all I, my fault. I, no one is complaining. Well, actually, many people are complaining. A lot of people are complaining. are complaining, yeah. But I am not one yeah. of those. If people. you guys want to follow along, you can go to throwout.com and you could find the post. It says, uh, what, what is it? Gaming uh, PC Next. What was the title of this post? I'm just going based on the URL. I can't see the title. Uh, the gaming PC yeah. is up next. So a yeah, lot B- of people, BYO PC. a lot of people complain about the motherboard and they said it was total overkill and there was no reason why you should have this <laughs> yeah. motherboard. Sure. Um, this is what we use. And the reason why I use this in the studios due to the PCIe slots. And yep. I needed, uh, you know, even though like it's like an eight X PCIe slot, it's going to perform uh, it's not all, you know, it's not like 16x, 16x, 8x, 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 4x. Like it, they, they, it's a lane, it's the bandwidth of the, the PCIe and the sharing of the lane. So if you have two of them in there, it's, it's right. wacky. And, and this is something I've complained about. I don't want to go into it, but that's why I've used this. So when Paul said, what do you use? This is what I recommended. And it's a very, yeah. very good motherboard. Um, it, it's expandable. So it'll grow with Paul. The more he wants to use it, uh, if <laughs> Paul Mark. wanted to, if Paul <laughs> wanted case, to put, but, yeah, yeah. If Paul wanted to do a, you know, if he wanted to start putting in a capture card in this thing and maybe start using a real camera instead of a webcam, he knows that he's going to be perfectly fine when he puts in the capture card and starts using it because there's enough PCIe slots in this thing. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, 
that's the last issue you want to face, right? Like you, you're kind of, yeah. I was kind of future proofing for Paul and I was putting into consideration some of the stuff that he said. Yeah. Is it overkill? Could you have found a much cheaper motherboard? Absolutely. Uh, do I, you know, when he asked me, what would you recommend? This is what I recommended. It's the Asus ATX. Uh, what was the model of this? X99 Deluxe. Uh, and it has a lot of USBs. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you have? Did you get complaints about this motherboard? I got complaints about everything. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I I feel I feel good about this one. So yeah. you know, this thing, if we if you he wanted to do like a SLI type thing or you Crossfire, could, yeah. you could absolutely do that. The, mm -hmm. You know, this with the power supply, with the the processor, whatever. It's it's all good. So, um, yeah, this one to me, yeah. this is no problem here. So uh, the next thing was the CPU, which I was shocked at the amount of complaints about this one. This one surprised me. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah, the I one that this yeah. is the one that kind of surprised me because I, with the discussions that we've had in the post, uh, we stayed away from from uh, Skylake. Uh, we didn't want to yeah. go with Skylake. Oh, yeah. So very specifically, and you specific, uh, you said I don't want to go with Skylake, and I said I don't blame you. I would not have gone with Skylake. Um, so we went with the i7 5820 six core. It's a three point three gigahertz six core processor. And a lot of people had a problem with this pick. A lot of people. Yep. And I, I just, I was shocked at that. I was shocked at the amount of people saying, well, it's kind of stupid because it's, you know, you're paying more and it's not as fast as Skylake and it's, it's not as good. Um, this is. Here's what I wanted. Yeah. Rock solid just works. Yeah. Known quantity, no problems, going to work. Yeah. There you go. Next Honestly, when it comes to gaming and just PCs in general, the difference between like an i5 and an i7 is minuscule. The difference between like this generation i7 and a newer one is, you know, not big enough yeah. to worry about. I just want it to work. I, I specifically went with Haswell E over Skylake. So w when yeah. that was that was a that was a a reason why. Yeah, the latest and the greatest is always fine. Plus, but, you know, this thing was four hundred bucks, yeah. not a thousand, not fifteen hundred. Yeah. Which you could spend, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, uh, twenty eight PCI three lines. So you went with the Corsair uh, water cool liquid cooled eight uh, sixty. Yeah, this, this one, uh, the guy who recommended the power supply told me that this might not ultimately good, be a good idea. And I'm not this one. I'm less clear on. Like he was saying, given the cooling in the case, that like a traditional cooler might make more sense. But but this is quiet. Yeah, no. I don't. I don't have, I don't, you know, you're, you're just, essentially eliminating a fan. And sure. I went with this because I need to keep this place as quiet as possible when I'm recording. I know the Noctuos are really quiet, but if mm -hmm. I could eliminate a fan and, sh and just do it this way, that, that, that was the reason why I went with this one. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, the video card was the big debate, right? Oh, yeah. And I, the, and I that's the, way, the one that I totally this is agree the on. One, this is the one, this is the complaint I didn't appreciate the yeah. most. Because the big complaint was, oh, you went with the uh, 970. You should have gone with the 1070. You 1070 know? does not exist at this very doesn't moment. It doesn't exist. It's so out, I looked it up. It's out I'm looking it up. Well, where is this? Thing? It's not even coming out. It's out well, this oh, week. It's, it's, yeah, but it's going to be impossible to get. Yeah. So here's the thing. Okay, so there's a brand new thing coming out right now. It's going to be hard to find for a while. I got to build something now. This is a solid. It's like this to me is like the processor. It's a solid card. It should be great for what he needs to do. You know, my son looked it up because what you know his concern is he what he wants is all of the features turned on in games, fast as possible frame rate, 1080p. You know, and yeah. he looked you know he looked at this and he was like, this looks awesome. What well, what's the price on the 1070 going to be? Five hundred bucks for four fifty oh, something know. like that. Yeah. I don't um, know. this was three hundred fifty dollars. Three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, I know way, a lot of people said. Why? Like a year, from, yeah. a year from now, we can swap it out. Don't worry, it's, yeah. it's a part. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, this one, that one, kind of freaked me out. Yeah, I had to go with ATI. Uh, ATI. I'm going with ATI, Paul. I'm going a couple years behind. Also, <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm going back in the past. <laughs> I went with AMD. I went with the R9 380 uh, mm -hmm. on mine, and I actually I swapped it out for the R9 2 something. I forgot which one, and I put in another machine because there there was a control, there was a fan control issue where the fan wasn't always spinning on this thing. And it's supposed to be smart enough to kick in. And right. I was having the card overheat because it wasn't kicking in enough. 
So the huh. so I had to swap it to a different machine, and with it, they fixed it with an update. But I didn't at the time. I had I actually I use a I use AMD drive right, cards on mine. I would prefer to go with Nvidia, but the stuff that I'm using works better with uh, AMD. Uh, this okay. was another. So we went with the RAM. Did people complain about the RAM? Yeah, and and by the way, I, I think in this capacity, th there might have been more rationale to the complaining. Right? What was the because complaint? The complaining is basically 16 gigs of RAM is is enough for any PC gaming mm -hmm. kind of scenario. That's probably true. <clears throat> I was sort of thinking about uh, the future and and kind of commingling my own needs with uh, you know those of my, my son or whatever. Because when I look at a machine like this, I think, well, I can throw Hyper V on this thing, and you know, having a lot of RAM on there would make a lot of sense. But um, I haven't built it yet. I'm, I, I, I guess I'm sort. I'm semi considering whether or not 16 would be enough. Because I'm sorry, I should say I, I did end up buying 32. Oh, you did buy 32. Um, the box supports 64 gigs of RAM. It does. Um, yeah, uh, I, the motherboard does. I should say. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. So I guess if I if I only go with 16, I would return the other 16 because who knows? By the time I build the second one. You know, things might have changed. Oh, so know. you would you would just buy thirty two instead of the sixteen instead of getting another set of sixteen? No, no, I did buy thirty two. Um, what I'm saying is maybe yeah. I'll just install sixteen and not worry about it. And not worry about it. Yeah, um, we'll see. I, you know, and then for the hard it might drive, be hard. For the hard drive, you went with the uh, the M two. You mm -hmm. went with a Samsung nine fifty Pro series two fifty six, uh, an M two internal SSD, and you really wanted to go with the M two. I really like the M two. Uh, I have one in mine. And uh, it is it is super super fast, like really really fast. Yeah. So this was the build. Uh, it came out to seventeen six five zero eight, uh, with some extras that you have to get like the thermal paste and and things like that. Um, yep. You want to spend fourteen hundred fifteen hundred dollars. Well, I wanted to spend a thousand. You want to spend a thousand? Well, <laughs> and then it kind of, you know, it, yeah. it, it, as these things do. So, what uh, was what? What were the things that people were complaining about? Like, what didn't they really? Like, oh, well, no, but I'm you, curious first about of all, this. Everything. Because, I mean, people yeah. complain about everything. So, I can understand. I think the, listen, I understand the 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 video card, right? The ten seventies out, and but, it's only going to yeah, be four hundred and something dollars or four hundred bucks. Yeah, it's it's kind of smart to wait for the ten seven, but you you couldn't wait because you got to build waiting, it. Now. I'm building it now, so yeah. I. Yeah, the video card, I, you know, whatever. I mean, the, the everything. People complained about it. I don't think there was a single bit that people didn't uh, complain about. CPU was a problem instead of Skylake, which um, the motherboard was too expensive and too too much. Over, it was too overkill. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and, and when we built it, you know, Paul's like, what are you using? Let's do this. Uh, I think, listen, to be honest, there's so many different options there. There's so many different good choices there. Um, right. Uh, I went with what I have and what I know works, right? Like I need something that I know is going to be reliable and is going to work for me. And I don't have to ever tinker around with this thing. This, this is, it sits here. It's always on. I mean, literally it's always on. Um, right. and that's what we're using. Uh, there, you can always, you could always find something that's cheaper or better, or, or it has a little bit of an edge. It, it's, it's it's a lot of it is what you're choosing to put in here. This isn't and it wasn't a recommended list that you created actually. You created a list of what I bought. Yeah, yeah. I, right. And that was one of the big things like um I saw a couple of times it's like, you know, you shouldn't be recommending this stuff. I was like, guys, I, I'm not <laughs> uh, this is what I did. I'm just, you know, I'm going to put this thing together and see what happens. So you know, I will I mean, even since writing the article I've adjusted things slightly like I uh, purchased that different power supply from the same company, you know, basically an upgraded version. Um, yeah, I'm looking here. It's it's interesting. Um, yeah, you know the post, the, the comments are fascinating because you, oh nobody, you know, if you just said, um, you know, what motherboard should I buy? You would probably get fifteen thousand different responses. No, on what and I do, and buy. I do, and depending and on the price you know, point and depending on what people are using themselves. Yeah, I have a couple of people that, you know, I kind of trust on hardware stuff because this is not an area of expertise for me. And that's um, that's how I kind of approach this. You know, it's like I'm not I'm not the expert here. I'm just goofing around like anyone else would. And we'll, you know, I'll we'll see if the, I can put this stuff together and make it work. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's, so I'm going to yeah, I'm going to build this thing. What are you doing? Right. So I'm going to I think tonight. Um would you have any recommendations? I'm thinking, 
you should probably I should probably mount the motherboard into the case before I do anything yeah. else. Although actually, that's how I do it. Do I have to put the chip on first? Do you have to no. brace the back of it or anything? I would. Well, hmm. I know whatever I say, someone's going to say it's the total opposite. But I normally put, I mount the motherboard on first, and then I put the CPU. That's on. what I. I mean, off that's the top of my head, that's yeah. how I. Would that's how I would it. do it. Yeah. I know that yeah, someone yeah. will say, "No, you don't have to do it that way." But you, you could, stupid you're jackass, you're an idiot for doing yeah. it that way. So I guess I would put the power supply into the case first, yes. and then the motherboard. Yes. And then just, you know, processor, RAM, storage, video card. Uh, uh, well, and then I guess this thing has some daughter cards, right? There's yeah. a USB 3.1 daughter card. Uh, do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, These are my favorite. It, that, it's a horrible decision when you can buy an RX 480 for, uh, for the purpose for 199 which is 130 to 300 $150 less. Yes, mm -hmm. okay, you could. But you sure. don't want, that's not what you chose. You know? That's it's, it's yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do more. Like I'm like I said, there'll be more. Don't worry. I mean, a, lo a lot of this is not necessarily about the specific components, although I want them to be appropriate for my son in gaming, right? And I think this is gonna do the job. But whatever. I I'm I'm sort of I, I want to get some experience around doing this kind of thing, um, and then do it again. You know, like I I, I you know. It's always uh, doing something once is interesting, but it it's not it, it doesn't give you the full picture. I mean, even doing something twice isn't going to yeah. do it. But I just haven't like you know like we discussed. I haven't done this in a while. Why so. don't you do like a live build? Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> just, <I> just... <laughs> I'll take a lot of pictures. Yeah. But, I you know yeah. I did that one time. Well, maybe I, for the next one. Who knows? I know. I, I did that one time and. Um, it's going to be a lot of um, my fingers start bleeding because I jam a metal piece inside the yeah. case and then I swear and the cat runs away. He, you know what? And, you know, here's a funny thing about this, right? Like I did that. I did that one time where I did. Actually, I've done it a couple of times, right? And no matter how good I am at building these things, I always mm. have people in the chats and like, oh, you're not you're not uh, you're putting your you're doing this on a glass desk. Or yeah, it'll, yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, exactly. it'll be like it'll be like you're not yep. you're not grounding yourself. You're not. Oh, I was going to do regular... it barefoot on a shag carpet. Is that yeah, a problem? Yeah, I'm just going to rub my feet on there, or I'll get <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah, I'll get like. Is that the Aurora Borealis? <laughs> I'll get the. Uh, you're using you're using a regular screwdriver instead of an electronic one. Like oh, you no, know, that that reminds me. Um, I don't remember when this was, but I would have been. I think it was back east, so it would have been since I moved back from Phoenix. So I, I and I, I was doing something. I had an open PC case, and it was on the floor. And I was do, I was I don't remember what I was. I was moving something around, and, and the corner of a card that I had in my hand hit a chip in the system, and mm. it sparked, mm. and the thing and it melted, like in the case. Oh my god! Yeah, I just re I just remembered this. Yeah, and there was no, there was no. Well, there was a spark, but it wasn't like a little fire. But it, it literally melted the. I don't know, like the. I had a guy. The, I had a guy. Or whatever. The last time I did the build, right? I'll never forget this guy. Uh, he was in the chat, and he was going nuts that I had taken all the components out of the like the, the I guess the, shockproof case. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Hold on. Oh, FedEx is here with my router. Thank God. After my show. Right. When I needed it, they're going to ask me to sign this. Can you hold on, Paul? Yeah, I'll try to take a bunch of photos of this and, you know, document it as well as I can. But it's hard to do that and do the thing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But Nope. It was Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> even better even better so the guy so i had taken all the components out and i was showing you know what i had bought and i'm and i lined mm -hmm. them up on the desk on the side and this guy's going nuts calling me an idiot because i took him i took it out of the bag and i'm gonna ruin the hardware i'm good the sure. hardware's gonna go uh, you're gonna ruin the hardware you need to be in that special bag. like he's i'm like first of all you i'm it's on a glass desk it's not like i'm rubbing it on the carpet you know <laughs> yep two um if you think these devices are that, do you honestly believe these components are that fragile? Sure. Where you're going to fry it by just taking it out of the bag? I mean, the guy was going nuts. Yeah. You know, just going crazy. But I, I listen, 
there there are different ways to do it. You, this is what you built. This is what you're going to build. Uh, you know what? I agree about the motherboard, uh, about the uh, power supply. You can swap that out. And yep. I agree about the video card. But unfortunately, you wanted this stuff now. Yeah. And you, you're not going to wait for the 1070 to come or the whatever model they're recommending at this point. Sure. Um, I don't know. People just. <laughs> yeah. So I, I did the build, right? So I, I do the so build. Excitable. And I've done this a thousand times. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, I couldn't believe how people came out of the woodwork. I mean, even like normal, like people that normally are cool and they, like they were mm -hmm. losing their minds because right. they do things a different way. I was like, guys, everybody does something differently. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some people don't take off, like don't reapply thermal paste. I like to sure. do that. I like to use my own thermal paste. People yep. call me an idiot because there's no reason. There's nothing proven that this your your thermal paste is going to work better. I'm like, I know. You know what? You could you could argue that. I feel better doing it this way. I've seen I've seen other builds and I've heard I've had people recommend it this way. And this is how I do it. So if you don't want to recommend it, you don't have to. Yeah, relax. It's relax. Okay. So it's okay. are you, I got a question. So you're going to mm -hmm. install Windows on this thing via mm -hmm. a, a USB? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Because you don't have a... Optical drive. Optical. Right. So you're going to Although do... I actually, you know, that's something I'll probably add to it as well. Not immediately, but before he goes off to school. Because you never know. You might want to install a, a disc-based game or something. I, I wonder don't know. when. It's so big deal. I've got, yeah. you know, I have these things laying around, so... Are you going to put Windows 10 on there or are you going to put 7 in? Yeah, Windows 10. Yeah. No, no Windows 10. Yeah. Um, yeah, listen, it, it, it shouldn't take more than an hour to build this thing. Well. <laughs> I mean, you can take your time. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I hope, I hope yeah. that's true. You can take your time. I think you did very well with this. Well, thank you, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, so we'll so was, see all was, the... Did anybody tell you that you were right in this or you did something good? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You always hear from, you know, and I also hear from people via email a lot where they're like, geez, like I was going to leave a comment, but it's like a cesspool in there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I people are um, enthusiastic, <laughs> you know, so I mean, God bless them, I guess, you know, they care yeah. you know, about something, you know, but um, and I appreciate it, but it's a... Um, uh, I love your responses to some of these. Well, some of them are such personal yeah. attacks. It's like, guys, if only there were some way of saying I would have done this slightly differently that didn't involve calling me an asshole or, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like whatever. And it's like, I, guys, you know, I, like, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't do exactly what you yeah. would have done. But I actually got a couple messages calling me an idiot that I told you to buy the wrong stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I got. I got an I email just, saying pass because anytime yeah. someone blames someone else, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I got an email saying, um, "Yeah, Paul always says you know hardware, but uh, by Clearly. what you by how you guided him on his uh, rec on his PC build, I would say you don't know anything about hardware." Right. Yeah. I was like, "All right. Sorry. I don't, I don't know anything. That's fine. I don't have to know." Sure. I'm happy as a cl listen. I am happy using the hardware that I'm using. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd be happy if this thing yeah. gets put together and works. You know, so that's the first thing. And then, you know, you can kind of evaluate it. I want to play around with it for a while. We'll put some games in there and see how yeah. they work and everything. And um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. It's not running yet. So, but I mean, the I, job one right now is just to get it to boot up and yeah. actually work. Um, so I want to do things like. You know, make sure I have the latest BIOS, you know, for the motherboard and get that going uh, as early as possible. It, by the way, that is so much easier now to do. Yeah. It's not, it's not this hectic, oh, my God, is this thing going to break in the middle of a BIOS update type situation? Yeah. No, that's right. And I, that's something I've noticed on computers. I mean, uh, the, the BIOS updating thing used to be like sacrifice a goat you know draw a pentagram and it's blood on the floor <laughs> you know like you used to have to you know it was very nail biting and, yeah. and that's not been the case for a while so I, I, hopefully that will be the thing i assume what i can do is just download something to a usb key and you know what's funny though i'll tell you something some, so the case the one that you have has a specific usb for the bios okay like it says for buy like i don't know why like what the difference would be and someone could explain that uh it might be a a boot sequence the, thing. The, there. Yeah, I think so. But there are moments like with the Asus one where mm -hmm. I will have to copy the, the the BIOS into a different folder for the for the uh, for the actual BIOS to see it when I'm going through like the flash updater. 
Hmm. It's weird. Okay. I, I, I've yet to, I would love to know the reason why it's like that. I, I mean, over the last couple of years, it hasn't been like that because I just taken and put it on USB and just pop it in there and it works. But I remember right. that that was like an issue. Certain, certain, uh, like certain USBs and certain, certain devices, like it wouldn't see it on, even though it's there. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot smarter. It, it, you can't really trash the BIOS like you used to. Well, um, I'm going to try. Yeah, it's like going no. into. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do what I can do. I mean, I'll yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, I think exactly. it'll be good. I I th- listen, you'll you'll be happy with it. Trust me. Yeah, so I'm looking. I'm looking as we talk yeah. just to see. There must be a. Uh, I'll just grab whatever the most recent. Um... I'll tell you something. I have an Asus. Um, I have another. I I have identical machines, and mm-hmm. uh, one of the last updates that I did, I could actually see that there's a performance increase with the CPU. Oh yeah. So it did something. Um, I think. It did something to the way that it tunes it. Like there's like their uh, overclocking tool, and I kind okay. and I use that sometimes. Like I I use it on one of the machines just to see if there's going to be any difference in stability. And mm-hmm. I like I set it up the way that it was, and I'm getting better performance now. So they do update these things, and it is important. Like if you're doing a if you're doing a build, take a look at the BIOS updates and see what they've changed, what they've updated. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You yeah. know I I think yep. that's something that people forget to do. Sure. Um, and you bought everything on Amazon, right? And that was another thing you wanted to do is buy everything I on Amazon. I did that uh, very specifically. Yeah. Yep. It, it, to the tune where even if it was a couple hundred bucks more, which it wasn't, um, that, that was okay because Amazon is so awesome about returns and stuff. And I've had those awful experiences this year with Newegg and I just don't want to go through that. And yeah. so. Which you could have probably um, saved. Uh, I would say you could probably yeah. save like another 150 bucks if you did Newegg. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. I don't care. Yeah. So <laughs> I just, you know, I just, uh, if I have a problem, I want to be able to get it fixed immediately. And I know they're going to do that. So yeah, no worries there. Um, I'm very excited to see this build. I'm very excited to get uh, your input on this. Yeah. Uh, as to um, what you're doing. I'm, I'm going to be very excited when it works, you know, and comes up with a clean device manager and all that stuff. So I'm kind of just, uh, I haven't, you know, the final piece has just kind of arrived tonight so, or today. Yeah. So. You know what? In in defense of the people telling you about the video card, if you want to wait mm-hmm. a couple days, well, I'm gonna be away. I, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about this stuff. I'm just. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Don't worry. But again, you know, if next week comes and I want to swap it out, I bought it at Amazon. They're gonna let me do it. Yeah, you can <laughs> so, swap it out. You got how long so to swap if it I, out? If I can magically get a 1070 or whatever, then that will be neat. Yeah. But don't worry about it. Interested to see how how it goes. Yeah, all. yeah. See how it goes. Um. Everything is on Amazon. If you go to Therat.com, you can see the components that he bought. Uh, mm-hmm. People are messaging me, and they actually like the case. I actually really, really like this. I like the case too. I, I I'd like a small form factor version of it, <laughs> like a you know, like a three quarter or two third size version for myself. But it's uh, it's cool looking. Like um, I'm not. I don't really care about having like a glass side. Like there's one side you can look in on the machine. I think it's kind of neat that you could you could mount the feet on us on the side, so to speak, and have it be the other orientation if that's what you want. You could have like yeah. the glass. The yeah, yeah. So how do you do that? Did yours give the option to do that? It says it does. I haven't looked at it, but yeah, okay, I guess you could move to, the feet. I have to look into that because I actually want to do that. I want to make it a little because it's it's lower. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if my version has that. I may have an older oh, version okay. because I can't Supposedly, see. Yeah. I I can't figure out where I would mount the feet on the on the side of the case. No. Oh. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't looked at it yet, so yeah. I'm not sure. I actually want to see where it is. I do actually use it as a footrest. It's like an ottoman. <laughs> yep. It's like a very yep. warm and uncomfortable ottoman. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's um. I, listen, I I needed this for a specific reason, and a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff going on. I'll tell you, that was the biggest challenge finding the PCIe slots, the ones that had uh, yeah. the PCIe's yeah. that I needed. Because you right. could find it, like I said, you could find one a lot cheaper, but I needed X amount of 8X slots or 8X band, you know, with the, with the, with the speed. Right. Uh, John Bob in our chat says, hey, come on, Andrew, just drill a hole in the side of the case. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend that did yeah. that for air vents. I'm not, I, I swear to you, he took, a, he took a little drill bed and he just drilled a bunch of holes in his case for air. He had a compact okay, I guess Passario. if you needed more air, you could just take off the glass panel or something. But no, no, no not on this case. But he had like an old compact oh, Passario, and the thing would overheat all the time. And he oh, made his own oh. little. He he just stra- he just drilled sure. vents on just the put side. Put like a little like uh, portable fan yeah. into the side. I know someone that did that on their Mac. I, I I'm not even I'm not joking at all. Drill little holes in the bottom of the case for right. little air vents. 
on the bottom. Like you could you could take the bottom off, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he made his own vents on the bottom. <laughs> it's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, this was a little bonus show we wanted to do for you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk about this, and I wanted it to be its own little discussion. Uh, if you like what we do, go to patreon.com slash what to tech. Fund the show there. Uh, also, podcast awards. You Remember to vote for us. We're running for the podcast awards. Podcastawards.com. Therot.com. Mm-hmm. All things Paul Therot. You can follow me on Twitter at Andrew Zarin. You can follow Paul at Therot. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>